This is Celeste, and I received something in my inbox today, and it really is, it covers a variety of topics, and I really feel like it's something that you need to know. This thing is coming at us, what's coming in January and on the 1st, um, like a fire hose, and so I have to start preparing you um, so that you're not just getting the fire hose treatment, that you can begin to process what is happening to us, to the planet, to all biological life. So as usual, let's go to the share screen. Okay, so here we go. And we're going, this is one of the things that I get on a daily basis. As, as you can see, it's genetic engineering and biotechnology news. And I found everything alarming. This is Thursday, December 10th, and it's talking about genome editing. And here's the first one. Obesity impairs immune cell function in cancer, and it triggers a tug of war for fuel. And this is all in the World Economic Forum's uh, subliminal messaging that we have this tug of war for fuel between the old system and the new system. But I want you to read this. Research in mice by the Harvard Medical School-led research team has demonstrated how cancer cells reprogram their metabolism in response to a high-fat diet. Of course, that is the um, like a ketogenic diet depriving tumor killing T cells of fuel and uh, leading to reduced numbers and activity of CD8 and T cells in the tumor micro environment. So basically it's saying like if you've got a ketogenic diet that your T cells are going to be deprived fuel uh, to fight cancer and the team suggests that better understanding how systemic metabolism affects nutrient partitioning and immune function in tumors may have implications for treatments that target cancer metabolism and or um, anti-tumor immunity. I want you to know that uh, this is all engineering. Um, this is genetic engineering and uh, biotechnology. It, you know, in the old days, um, you would, cancer did not necessarily happen in just heavy people. Um, it would happen across the spectrum of people. So now basically cancer has been re-engineered um, to attack um, heavy people. So you need to be aware of that, especially as we're going into the holiday season. And most of us put on a few pounds and I speak for myself and Mississippi. So the next thing that was troubling in here is that there is a new mechanism to develop arteries. A study has discovered a new cellular and molecular mechanism that promotes vascular arterialization, the development of arteries from blood capillaries. And so they are supposedly working on new therapeutic strategies to induce vascularization and more effective blood perfusion for injured or like stroke type and heart attack issues. The problem is, is that in this particular um, discipline and what they are doing is actually setting up an arterial system and capillary system for the new synthetic beings. So they will actually have a, a synthetic arterial system and capillary system with artificial blood. So it is really going to be hard to tell these synthetic beings from actual humans. Um, then there was another one and it was 
talking about the human uh, unique human mutation may put people at risk for high advanced cancers. Once again, um, they're comparing us to uh, chimpanzees. And that one wasn't, I mean, I didn't get that much out of that one. But here's one that was really um, troubling to me. Essential Parkinson's disease drug packaged in engineered tomatoes for ease and affordability. Tomatoes are going to be bioengineered um, to act as an enriched source of Ladopa used in the treatment of Parkinson's that can increase the availability of this essential drug in uh, developing countries. Well, what happens if you don't have um, Parkinson's disease? You're going to be eating these tomatoes that impact your brain function. And, you know, a lot of people with Parkinson's have the, the tremors and other types of symptoms. So, and what other uh, drug packaging are they going to be doing? I'm going to be covering that in the next few weeks and exposing uh, the agenda that's coming before us starting January 1st. Let me see if there was anything else. Uh, I guess there's some um, in the CRISPR babies, um, there, there's some chromosome loss. Um, I haven't really dug into that. So I don't know too much about that. So I guess that's it for the um, breaking story. I would say the two biggest concerns are these new uh, foods that are drug uh, drug delivery systems, and also this um, engineering of cancer to attack people who are putting on weight. So in this tug of war for fuel. So I think we both ne all need to keep an eye on both of these. And I will be letting you know more details as, as this story continues to unfold. And believe me, it's coming at you fast and furious. So this is Celeste uh, with the breaking news story for December 10th, 2020. We will see you the next time. Mm -hmm.